Hey, what's going on guys? This is ETA Prime back here again with the Raspberry Pi 3 running RetroPie 4.0 Beta 2. Now there's a lot of stuff that has changed within RetroPie on this new build and it should be coming out shortly. We'll be able to install RetroPie Stable 4.0. But this is Beta 2 right now. It came out on June 21st. And I wanted to see what this is all about. They added a few cores, a few new experimental cores. And they added a bunch of new options in the RetroPie setup. There's a new splash screen, and you may notice there are no emulators listed on the emulation station front end. You need to install your ROMs for them to show up now. It used to be we used to have a few that were already preloaded on here. I like this idea. It makes it a lot cleaner because I do not use a lot of the emulators on here. So you can really customize it. Let's get into the RetroPie setup and see what kind of settings have changed. And this definitely looks a lot different. We got Manage Packages, Setup Tools, Uninstall RetroPie, Update RetroPie Setup Script, Perform Reboot. Let's go into Manage Packages. Now if you want to navigate this, Without a keyboard, you can use your analog stick on your PS3 controller or your Xbox controller. Select will choose where you want to go. So let's get into Manage Packages. Got a quick install. Update all installed packages. That's cool. We don't have to do it individually anymore. Manage Core Packages. We can update all the core packages, and that consists of RetroArch Emulation Station. RetroPie menu, run command. Manage main packages. So this is our, these are our main emulators. Uh, quote unquote stable emulators that are pre-installed. You just need to install your ROMs for them to show up on the emulation station front end. Let's just go into here and check out PCSX. We can update from binary, update from source, or remove. So we have the ability to remove any packages we do not want to use. Back out of here. So we have manage our main packages. We have manage optional packages listed here now. So we can install and update all optional packages from binary or from source. Remove all optional packages, like advanced MAME. Let's see, Atari i800. We can update or install it. There is no option to remove in here, but you may be able to remove it in the main packages. Let's see. I don't see it. Okay, we'll go back to the manage packages, main packages, and at the bottom here, I went ahead and installed it. We have new splash screen repository. So you can install or update from binary, and you can remove it. I installed it already. This won't be listed here, the remove but I believe this will allow us to change our splash screens a lot easier. Manage driver packages. This will update our game controller drivers like PS3, SNES, X-Arcade, and the Xbox 360 controller. And finally, manage experimental packages. Install or update all experimental packages from binary. That could take a while if you want to install all of them. Now this is the one I'm interested in, the SDL TRS. This is the Radio Shack TRS-80 emulator. My next video will consist of this emulator running if I can get it set up correctly. These are all experimental and a lot of them are very slow. So you see we have Jaguar, we even have DS, but it's super slow. We do not have enough power right now. 
If you didn't know, Minecraft could be installed for a long time on RetroPie. This is Minecraft Pie. Runs pretty good. Mobile gamepad or virtual gamepad. You can use a gamepad from your Bluetooth phone. Back out of here. Setup and tools. Pretty much the same here. We can set our auto start. Uh, configure our Bluetooth controllers or Bluetooth devices. Samba, scraper. This is the scraper to use, guys. Splash screen, configure your splash screen, Wi Fi. And we also have a WikiView Retro Pie. Built right in is sort of a wiki for Retro Pie. I'm downloading now, it might take a second. There we go, view wiki pages. Oh, this is really cool. It's built directly into here now after you download it. So let's say I'm having trouble getting Atari 2600 to run. I can go right into here and read the wiki page. Very cool. Now I usually just use my phone on the side or another PC, but this is really cool to have built in anyway. Shows us here, ROMs, accepted file extensions, .bin, .a26, .rom. Really cool. So this is wiki built in. Try to exit here. There we go. And you can check out any of these. Really, this is really cool. I actually do like this. So that's about it for now, guys. I'm going to be making a few videos on the experimental emulators they just added. Well, like the TI-99 and the TRS-80, I'm really excited about. I grew up using a Tandy TRS-80. It was a little white keyboard, pretty much. It's a lot thicker than a keyboard, but it was a Radio Shack item. You had to hook it to your TV, and there was a few cool games I remember. Hopefully I can find the Marble Madness game I had. That was about it. I had Donkey King, Marble Madness. And the coolest thing was we had this thick book and we could program the thing to talk. So we'll see what we can do with that. Exit out of here. I really appreciate you guys watching. This was just a quick look so you know what to expect in the next RetroPie update, which hopefully is coming soon. This was beta 2. But keep an eye out on the RetroPie page and my channel because as soon as it hits, I will definitely be testing it out. If you guys could, hit that like button and subscribe. Um, I don't know if you guys are into sharing videos. Go ahead and share this. If you got any friends that are into the old school emulation, share these videos with them. And like always, thanks for watching.